Gemini. Hey, Gemini. I'm here to do a reading for the month of August. Um, I want to thank everybody for um, watching my channel and thanks for all the support. Um, today, I'm going to do things a little different. I'm going to do things that may be going on in the background, problems pertaining to some problems you may face in the month of August and some advice. We're going to get started. The first couple cards that come out are going to be... Um, just cards pertaining to anything that's going on with you for the month of August. Also, if you want to know how I interpret messages, I'm a psychic and intuitive reader. Okay, let's get started, uh, Gemini. Dude, what messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August? Please give me messages illusion reality is merely an illusion a bit a very persistent one okay next i'm going to get a message out from the energy the divine energy oracle please give me messages for gemini i feel like this is this is due to a, a decision that you need to make it, it's something that you're very in in undecisive about and it's because you can't really see the way through. Is I think that's what that illusion is. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what we have with the energy oracle deck. Reach for the stars. Okay. Okay, well, let's get started. Let's see what's going on with this. Angels, you provide me messages. Ugh. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August. Okay. What's going on with Gemini's for the month of August? What's going on in the background that they may need to know about? That they may or may not be aware of for the month of August? What are the most important mess? There you go. The Nine of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you're worried about a home situation and you or someone else um, is worried about something that's going on pertaining to maybe a family or a home. And it's maybe, maybe you have to move. Maybe you're um, trying to figure out how to um, get the stability you need. For some of you guys, you may have to reach out for help is what I'm getting. Maybe there was um, something like a, a job loss or something like that that caused like you to have to worry about your stability. Problem, Knight of Cups. I feel like this is saying that you're moving. Uh, the problem is that uh, you're trying to make your moves, but they're based off emotions versus um, logic is what I'm getting. Let's see any advice. Please give me advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August. What advice can you give Gemini for the month of August, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What advice can you give Gemini for the month of August? What is the best advice in regards to what's going on with them? Saying reach for the stars. So maybe um, this is one of those decisions where you have to think logically instead of um, emotionally. It could be with someone that you love too. Due to some um, some of uh, the people you love. Okay, you have the three of wands that came out for advice, justice, and the world card. I feel like in this situation, it's saying that um. If you hold off a little bit longer, things will balance itself out. 
And this whole cycle would be complete. I feel like it's saying things are coming to you. But you have to choose to be, uh, to press, just not give up. And maybe work hard at what you want. Some, for some of you, you may have to stand your ground. This could be something legal, as in court uh, legal. It could be a divorce or a move away from home, away from family. Your kids, your family, or something like that. For some of you. For some of you, it could be the opposite. Maybe um, someone left the home and um, are you guys like getting a divorce? <clears throat> and so you have to wait for um, maybe wait for a judgment or something to complete this cycle. And I'm saying don't give up. Please clarify the nine, around, the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles. For what's going on in the background, please, angels. The devil. For some of you, this is just uh, you thinking negative. You a, a lot of worry, extreme amount of worry, and not knowing the way forward. For some of you, this could be negative uh, family members, like a neg having a negative circle that's making you worry. Maybe they're giving advice that's not really helping. Something is coming in and it's coming in fast that, that you're not aware of. And it's going to make, it's going to, I feel like it's going to make you happy. Maybe a decision will be made fast, quickly. That you're not aware of that's going to make you happy and is coming towards you. Let's see the problem. You see this Knight of Cups instead of being on a, a horse is sitting there waiting. So maybe um the problem is uh, just having the, that patience and stabilizing your emotions also. Please clarify the Knight of Cups. Maybe this is a decision hard to make. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This is a decision hard to make because of emotions. Like, there's so much emotions and love attached to it. But it seems like um, the problem may also be having to go at this alone. Why things balance itself out. It's saying something is coming and have patience. You'll get some type of clarity that'll help you heal and stabilize everything. Please clarify this advice for Gemini. Healing. The star card. Reach for the stars. I feel like some of you guys are working on something. And you have to be patient and wait. But it's causing some type of instability, like emotional unstableness. But it's an illusion. Like, whatever it is, it's, um, it's a way out that you're not seeing. Or whatever's going on, it may seem bad, but um, It's all an illusion. Like it says, reality is merely an illusion, a bit a very persistent one. All right, so maybe uh, you guys are having, especially with the devil card here, a lot of negative worry thoughts about this. Let's clarify one more time. Please clarify what's going on in the background. Why is the devil here? Worrying about taking control of the situation. Worried about how can you build this structure and this foundation Maybe it's something hard to see. Yeah, worry at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to manifest something and maybe lay down burdens. This could be things that happened in the past that you guys are still um going through. And it's causing you to like, it's like you have to keep your emotions in to try to deal with this. But um keeping it in is creating this burden for you and, and, and causing a lot of worry. Something's, some, something is coming though. Something, it may be slow. It's like having to choose between emotions and stability in a way. Trying to be stable, 
but also trying to keep your emotions emotions together. You're moving away from that though. Something is coming. That was your energy too, the lovers. Some choice is going to be made that's going to help you. Please clarify the Knight of Cups for the problem. Why is the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles here for the problem? Maybe in the past you were uh, bottling up your emotions. You were too emotional to make a decision. Which is now cleared up for you. Yeah, it has ended and changed. So things are moving forward now. You made a decision to move forward. Maybe you had some intuitively, uh, you were intuitively guided to make a decision. So you've ended it and now stability is coming in. You're more stable now. So now the, I feel like the problem is just waiting for everything to manifest itself. That's why the advice is here as in just kind of like wait. This cycle is closed. It's ended. In other words, I feel like it's saying just give it a little time. Yeah, stability. For some of you guys, you could be homeless. Are just not have it's like a form of stability yeah and this is still at the bottom of the deck it's a form of stability that you're looking for this could be emotional stability it could be due to finances it could be even due to love like you're looking for some form of stability and i feel like it's within you and within family for some of you you may have children and it's affecting all of you But it's an end to it. Please clarify. Why is the emperor here? The hermit. I don't know why when this hermit popped out. I know it's the hermit, but... It's a Gemini reading with the Virgo. The first thing popped up in my head is the magician. <laughs> so maybe um, you guys are manifesting something. You guys went within to take control. Maybe you're on like a soul journey that you're taking control of. Right now, it's kind of like a sitting period that just completed. So things are moving forward. Please clarify the problem one more time for Gemini. Confrontation. Strife. I think it's just mental strife. Emotional. Don't give up. A discontentment. It could be due to a relationship. Maybe a relationship is what began everything and that instability in the home and making decisions. It was like a domino effect. Please clarify the advice one more time for Gemini. One more, what, what's the most important advice, Gemini? Okay. Continue going forward. Working on what makes you happy. That cycle, this cycle is closed. So it's like, uh, there's nothing really holding you back. There's no more delays. You just have to take action on uh, your happiness and work. Work towards what you want. Just continue to work. I feel like you guys are already working on it. But it's saying to continue work. You may have to juggle for a while. Just for a little short while. It seems like something is coming to a conclusion now. And whatever it is, you're going to get some type of communication that's going to provide you that stability. That's what you're waiting on. You're waiting for stability in both your finances, finances and emotional stability. But things are moving forward. It, it may be due to something you guys created or started. It could be a job. 
It's just having that patience to um, continue waiting. Okay, we're going to get a healing message. <clears throat> I wonder if that was it. Okay, we're going to try this again for uh, Gemini for the month of August. Let's see. What healing message can you give Gemini for the month of August? Angels? What healing message can you give Gemini? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I was feeling, not the magician. Okay, alchemy. I'm going to read this straight from the book, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, Gemini. Alchemy. You have an opportunity to take a big leap in your level of consciousness. It is extremely important, important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that no longer serve you. You have access to in, the energy of alchemy, which can transform the most challenging experience into incredible gifts and miracles. Meditate and take action on your highest goals and dreams. They're on their way to coming true. Let go of your expectations. What is about to appear can surpass anything you have ever dreamed of. The most important part is that you are prepared and ready to receive. The energy around you is very potent at the very potent at the moment. So make sure that you're using your time as productively as possible. Give yourself time for prayer, prayer gratitude, and celebration. All right, Gemini, I hope everything works out. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can receive, receive uh, downloads, uploads when I upload them. Thank you. Bye.